Hello everybody. Today I want to do a tutorial on how to make a muffler for your RC car or truck. There's the finished product. All you need for this is an empty lighter, a piece of tube. This is just a uh, piece of wind chime tube. Need on those pliers for holding this while you or when you cut it because it does get real hot. A Dremel with a grinding stone, a cutoff wheel. This part is optional. I like to have a cone shaped stone because I like to do a little chamfer on the end of this. Um, some sandpaper. This is 1000 grit and it's just to smooth the end of the pipe after it's cut. You don't necessarily need to do that either. Some silver or whatever color you want really. Spray paint. And I use my cordless drill and I also have a small drill bit because I like to drill a hole in the lighter before I go to cut it just to make sure it's completely empty. You will also want some way to mount it. Now, I just use hot glue, and uh, I used for the one on my Skyline, I just used a piece of angled plastic that I cut out of this. You can use scrap Lexan, whatever you have, or just depending on how you need to mount it, hot glue it straight to the body. Also handy to have, but not really completely necessary as a vise. This is just a real, real cheap one I got at a discount store. Um, it's a little weak, but for stuff like this, it works fine. So first thing I want to do is put the lighter in backwards. and drill that hole I was talking about to make sure that it's empty. And it was pretty close, just a little tiny bit came out there. Now we're going to flip this around. Obviously the length you need to cut it will depend on your application. I usually go up just about mm, three quarters of an inch or so. You don't have to get it all the way through. You can just do that and pull off the extra. Now, inside a lighter is a center wall. That does become a little bit of a problem when you drill it out, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. All right, you can see I've switched out to my large drill bit that's the same size as my pipe. Another tool you don't necessarily need but might find handy to hold the lighter is a pair, small pair of channel locks. Now I'm just gonna drill right down through the center. And there is that center wall I was talking about. And on this one, it snapped out almost completely clean. Sometimes you have to come back in and clean that up, but uh, this looks like it's gonna be pretty good. All right, now this, I like to just uh, you know move the drill bit around a little bit, clean up the edges just that way. There's no real reason to do much more than that. There, now that is ready for paint. And there it is with a coat of paint on it. I just used a piece of plastic up through the hole to uh, hold it. And I'm just going to set that aside to dry and we'll work on the pipe. Okay, for this so far I've just chucked my uh, grinding wheel into my Dremel. I'm going to run about half speed on that and 
first thing I want to do is just true up the end of this. There, that looks pretty close to square, or at least good enough for this application. Now, start it up again, and just run a little bit of a chamfer on the edge there. Now we're going to switch bits over to the cone bit. low speed for this because it can catch and bite. And that's all for that. Now, I'm still doing this with the long pipe because I found that after you cut it, it is very hard to handle and do this with it at the same time. Now you can see I've chucked the whole pipe into my cordless drill and I'm just going to spin it and use this 1,000 grit sandpaper just to smooth off the edges a little bit. And that is what I'm left with right there. All right, we've moved back to the cutoff wheel now. Now cutting this metal, this will get very, very hot and the cut, these cutoff wheels tend to shatter really easily. So it may happen, it may not. Now, notice I stopped before it cut all the way through because I really don't want this to fall on the floor. You will want to use pliers to grab this. It will be very, very hot. Okay, well, it's been about 15 minutes or so, and actually I cheated a little bit and used a hair dryer on the paint, so it's dry. Now it's just a matter of pushing it together and getting it set where you want it. Which I like it right about there. Now what I did to fix it in place was just filled everything around that pipe with hot glue. Uh, super glue would probably work, JB Weld, whatever you want to use for it. But that's it. Then you just have to decide how you want to mount it and you've got a somewhat realistic scale looking muffler for the back of your vehicle.